One time the request of all the two person were born you. Now you notice that the shirt and the beard have a funny demarcation here and that is because of the way we cut out the beard now one of the things you can do to make it not show is to pick a what's up everybody my name is Armstrong Osas and today today we are going to be working on a conventional picture a client will send you and tell you to turn it to a cartoon art this is Gabriel he's popularly called Gabilusi. His name is Gabriel Afolain. He's a popular TV star and a musician and he's in a city belt. So if you are coming to the channel for the first time, this is a channel where we get to break down every single thing that we are going to be doing and it's not going to be a 5 or 6 or 1 minute video. It's going to be a total breakdown so I, I urge you to relax and enjoy the whole ride with me while I break down the whole process. Alright, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's hit to the intro. Okay, so first, a client gives you a picture and it's for a beard guy. This guy is fully bearded. And then they are telling you that they want something nice. So the first thing I usually do when I get a picture like this, the first thing I usually do is to duplicate with Ctrl J as usual and then go to image, go to adjustment and take off the shadows and highlights. Now, this is what I usually do in most of my tutorials. But then for a beard guy, most times, because the beard would turn out to be white, I tried not to make the whole shadows way too much, so somewhere around here, and then I reduce the highlight a little bit. Now, reducing the highlight somewhat makes it nicer, if that makes any sense. It just makes it look like a little bit like art, even when it's not art at all. So this is how it was before, and this is how it is now. See, a lot of difference. I know you guys do this a whole lot. And then the next thing I usually do, I like jumping on this ASAP, it's taking out the belt so i'm just gonna put the shadows and highlight yeah and then i'm just going to duplicate and then without the belt belt so what i do is i'll go to this place the i'm supposed to choose the spot healing tool so with the spot healing tool i'll just paint over all these parts that i know the seat belt covered all these parts yeah like this and let's see what we'll have give it a few seconds and boom this is what we'll have this doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad totally because we are going to have to smudge the shirt later so we we'll st we'll still would just let's just keep it like this yeah this is okay this looks good this looks good yeah this looks okay and i don't like when what i do is a little bit branded so i just like taking out the brand so i'm just going to take out this curving claim i'm so sorry guys for your for taking out your logo just in case um you guys you, you, can, you can sponsor this video still so i'll get to leave your logo the next time and then the next thing is to cut out the picture from the background but while i'm cutting out the picture from the background i'm just going to tell you a few things before i get to fast forward and i'm going to get to fast forward the part where i get to smudge because i million and one video videos about that or my channel so i'm just going to fast forward that but then i'm using a screen that is slightly broken that i mean it's broken slightly i just woke up one day and then i saw that my laptop screen was broken that's why i've been off for a while so it feels like it's almost a habit that i get to come around and then i tell you guys oh i'm back and i go off again for another whole month i actually have a channel that i've been i've been very consistent on i've been posting a whole lot there you can check it out it's what i'm strong said i just go out and record mad and insane people or just go out and freestyle and yeah so that is what i have so i'm I, i'm i'm pretty much dedicated to doing this and a whole lot of this and if you are just coming to the channel for the first time my name is armstrong Osas, and there's a group chat i have created armstrong where you can join and if you have difficulties you can ask a whole of them you know I might not be online every time like i would say in my videos but then there are a lot of people that will do a whole lot for you they say wow this is now this is free promo for my guys because they're actually good they say wow they sparkle there are a whole lot of them if you still want to get in touch with any of them i the competition video i did few weeks ago or few months ago you can check that out and that should help you a whole lot and another thing is if you are part of the group i would really 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 urge you to make out time pick out friends from that from that group especially and i bet you to be one of the best things you'd ever do 
because i mean no man is an island so when you go on these design journeys you want to you want to i mean really 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 have somebody that tells you that oh okay this is nice and this is not nice i don't know if what i'm saying makes any sense but yeah that's what i mean have you ever been in this position where you are probably taking a long walk and you're trying to call somebody and probably a friend and the friend is not around or available and or sometimes that long walk the friend might just make it easier you know so this is what i have yeah this Control enter and Control j so this is what i have now this is the kind of picture you would usually get from a normal client now be very careful about getting this kind of pictures now when you have a picture with this kind of light i'm just going to pick up the brush tool right and show you when you have a picture with this kind of light it's it's not good don't take a picture that has this kind of light especially when you, you are the person is um facing light or it, it kind of ruins the whole thing it makes it not so easy to tweak the contrast at at the final so the next i just want to make it a little bit sharper so you can use your sharpness or you can use your new linear light and your high pass however it is i've done this method a whole lot more but the reason i get to repeat it almost every single time is because a lot of persons get to come on this channel and when they come on the channel they get to learn a whole lot of new things and yeah so i'm just going to make it 0 0.012 okay this is good so it doesn't look like it's way too much but yeah i don't like when it is way too much so this is what we we'll have now another thing you can do is take out the grounding for the shirt for the cap and those other things now one thing i usually do after this is to cut out the pictures from the main picture a lot of persons smudge at the same time but then cutting out the picture from this i'm just going to show you when i'm cutting out for the beard i don't go cutting out like this I don't go cutting it out like this no that's not what i do so what i do is i cut out the beard with a little bit a little bit of the background like the place that the strands of the hair like the extra part you see the spillage i cut it out as well you know it's it's um when i get to a paint later it gives me this nice feel that i like very much so this is what i do when i cut out the beard so yeah so I do this, but I think I should cut out the head and then cut out the beard from it. Sounds like something ritualists would say, cut out the head, cut out the beard. Yeah, so um, basically I'm going to have to fast forward a few parts because, you know, getting to leave this um, tutorial running is a whole lot even for me it takes quite a lot for me because I get to talk a whole lot and then sometimes I feel like you guys skip some parts and what i say sometimes are very vital so i really do not like it when some things i just omitted because i get to talk too much you know when i was growing up they usually told me that hey guy you like talking too much and man i loved talking but now not so much i just like being in my space i like being like a whiskey kind of guy now one of the things you should learn how to do is cut with your pen too i think you know that already so if you're a professional on this on this um, group or on this you should have gotten that already so yeah i do that and then the reason i'm cutting out the head and not the cap and then the head and the body is because when i cut out the head i can easily subtract it from the cap and from the shirt and get something beautiful i'm going to press ctrl j now this is what i have now one of the fastest tricks to get to cut out these things from the other part, especially when the picture is like this, is to press Ctrl J. I'll have a new one like this. I'm going to the head. I'm going to cut out the head from this. And this is what I have. Now, the next thing, very easy because this place is transparent. I'm just going to cut out the cap from this too. So I'll, do, I'll select that part and press Ctrl J. And when it has done, I'll delete it from this one beneath delete. So I have three different components. So I have the shirt, the cap, and the head, the face. Yeah, that's what I have now. Now, when the next thing you should really take into consideration when you're working with, uh, with a guy that has a lot of beard is the beard. So I'm going to cut out the hair and the beard. So take off this. I'll cut out the hair and the beard. Now, just notice what I'm doing. I'm not cutting out inside like this. 
I'm cutting out some parts that have strands. I'm going to leave this picture in the video in the description so you can just get to practice maybe alongside me too. So this is what I'm doing. I'm cutting it like this. I'm not I'm not going way too deep into where the hair doesn't touch, but then I, I'm picking the strands because it makes it a whole lot beautiful when you have that, you know. Those of you that use Autodesk, you people probably create um, hair strands by yourself and that's beautiful. You know, I, I've always said it that um, smudge painting is not, it's not um, outright traditional art. It's somewhat making a picture look like art and I think that's beautiful too. So, but but it's not it's not when we're, when we are talking about when somebody is an artist, we don't say okay, he's a smudge painter and he's a he's a proper artist. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah. So the next thing I will do is press Ctrl J when I'm through with cutting out the beard. See the way I cut out the beard. It has this part of flesh and this and this. So that's what I'm just basically going to do: cut out the different components, the mouth, the eyes, the hair, and eyebrow and just fast forward a little bit it's not gonna take a lot of time but yeah just to spice the whole thing up a bit you ready okay After all the components has been cut out, the reason we cut out the components is just to make it easier when we are all painting and doing the rest. Now I have the beard, the eyebrow, the eyeballs, the outer eye, everything. Now the next thing I have to do is smudge. So, but first, I want to oil paint. Now, this my laptop is a little bit slow. It doesn't accept oil paint. This particular Photoshop CC17 doesn't accept oil paint. So, I use Photoshop CS6. So, you should try downloading Photoshop CS6 if you have an issue with that. So, let's go over to oil paint. Okay, so one of the things people get it very, very wrong is when they are oil painting, they have a very weird oil paint routine or recipe now when you're oil painting this looks okay but then it's way too much this is way too much and then the shine is a little bit too much because when you have the shine this part of it this part turn out to not blend in turn out to stand out i'm just going to show you for example so i'm going to press okay and then you see that this part the shine here has a very very weird feel to it so what I usually do, you might not get to notice it now because I mean the picture is clean. What I usually do is to undo it and then try it again. But this time around, try it on a better parameter if that makes sense. So I'm just going to turn the shine down to say zero. So this is what we have now. So, but then I feel like it's way too much. The stylization is way too much. So I'm just going to go back a bit back a bit back a bit and say 2.2.48 is okay then make it clean make it clean a bit say 2.3 and then i'm going to press okay now when this happens it's yeah it just makes it a whole lot better than it was before yeah and that is what you have now for the eyebrow for the this called eyebrow yeah it's called eyebrow for the eyebrow i'm just gonna use the oil paint still to do the same thing but then one thing that i noticed for the eyebrow now there are a lot of you that use a different kind of eyebrow i don't know this is usually like a gradient eyebrow if that works for you that's fine but i still like the natural eyebrow with the whole pattern on it yeah so for the outer eye i'm just gonna come to the oil paint still so what i do is now this is it, the eyes have usually have folds and those other things that you might not be able to get with your natural hand you it will be very difficult to get that with your natural hand so i'm just going to take this stylization and the cleanness down a bit and yeah that is what we're going to have so that is what we'll have but because i put the eyeballs on a different layer yeah this is what we'll have and this is good now for the second to last is just the oil paint on the shirt 
it doesn't have to be too much so i just went to the former oil paint i use on the eyes and this is what we'll have you see uh, before and now now then one of the final things to i've been saying final like four or five times now one of the final things too is for the lip remember it should not be too much it can make it very mild the milder it is the better the results this is this is before and this is now so i think this is okay and lastly the cap now this is the main lastly lastly the cap i'll go with oil paint right and yeah this is what we'll have so i'm just gonna save and time to smudge right okay so on this i'm going to duplicate or select all this this is the face this is the outer eye i'll select that i'll select the eyebrow the lips and the beard holding your shift that's selected virtually everything i'll press ctrl alternate enter to merge all no i think the face wasn't selected okay yeah the face to merge all now this is these are the things that are in the face just the face right so i'm going to duplicate with ctrl j and then clip it the reason i'm clipping is because when i'm when i get to smudge i don't want it to be out of proportion i think i've said that a million times now when you're working on a guy with beard be very careful don't smudge like this okay so the strength maybe let's make it say 30 yeah something like this don't smudge like this now nah, you're going to ruin it so what you should do is smudge in inward and outward like this make your brush smaller like this zoom in a bit zoom in closer to what you are trying to do probably make the strength 20 by pressing 2 on your keyboard and just smudging like this now you're going to be blotting out the edges and where it feels like where you cut out so it doesn't have a a seam or yeah it doesn't seem like that was where you cut out you know now when you do that it is going to come out very well and a whole lot better yeah so this is it so this is it something like this yeah something like this so just blot it out a bit now with that you notice that uh, if i turn this off you notice that the the seams or the lines have gone out yeah so this is how it is now you can just keep doing that and then i'm just going to get to smudge now one of the biggest tricks or techniques i started employing recently is to use the brush size at 20 not at 30. now is it the basic reason i do that is because it prevents you it takes more of your time but it prevents you from making too much mistake now when you use that 30 it's a little bit more harsh than when you make it at 20. so when you make your brush at 20 and you probably smudge in the direction of the face there, there are a million videos i've done about how to smudge it's not up to a million but you know i'm exaggerating so you should definitely take out time to watch those ones i've really asked how it how you guys get to watch my videos i mean they are long videos i really want to know how you guys get to watch it do you eat while watching it do you take a drink do you download it for later and you practice alongside it do you just fast forward and see my techniques and want to use it in your own do you just see the tutorial and then go straight up to download the the brush and to see how it is do you just want to download the reference and see if what you did matches mine i want to know how it is now working on this now this is basically how to smudge um doing that so try you could just probably watch how i would work on it while i fast forward it a little bit because i really have to fast forward it a little bit and then when i'm done with this video i'm going to put the background now i started my memberships even if i've it was just right before i went offline i said it in my last video i said my membership um a lot of you guys struggle with background so being one of one of being a subscriber for my membership is going to um, give you some premium some of my premium backgrounds it's going to give you access to some of my premium backgrounds um access to talking to me privately because i'm usually very hooked up but then when you pay for something you have to get the value right so yeah a whole lot of that and yeah it's 
pretty much a very 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 decent package and it's not very expensive so you should try to check out my membership it is going to be something you are going to like a whole lot and then if you have not joined the whatsapp group i'm going to put the link in the video description you can join it as well and yeah how has your journey been so far being a smudge artist are you getting enough pay do you think you are getting uh, cash what kind of videos would you want to see in in my channel i think all those things should be dropped let's let's get right to it you know i've been off for a while and i, I still say i've been off for a while the last time i came i said oh, yeah i've been off for a while and i went off for a, for a while too so i think it's more like this guy that doesn't drop videos frequently but i want to drop videos frequently trust me i do want to drop videos frequently just it's just sometimes you know the boy can get lazy so this one of the things you can do this is a pretty decent smudge even if it's not the neatest smudge in the whole world but you can just keep doing that the focus today is on the beard and yeah so if you don't have a beard like me if you have just few beards like 19 strands you could try growing more if you think you have too much beard um, you could lend us that have no beard at all some beard <laughs> that's so funny yeah so I, I mean i was supposed to fast forward this but i'm not fast forwarding it and i'm just talking and talking i love talking sometimes but sometimes i'm just there i just like being in my space like a whiskey guy so you should try you should try so when, when i want to actually go out and be there and um, help you guys share with some of your backgrounds i think you know getting to start smudge the first and only tutorial i really had as a smudge painter was some indian guys he, one would say one would say control gay i think i watched just two videos and then i kept practicing and practicing and practicing and i had the worst smudge jobs ever god i look at it sometimes i'm like hey, did you do this bro this is this is this is hilarious this is he i did one of c ronaldo once and i was so ashamed to post it because I felt like oh my god this is this is a joke but yeah you know with doing things you get better and you get better and you get better so now this is what we we'll have um you should try to smudge out the shirt and the cap later but for now this is what we we'll have so i'm going to create a layer right above this and name this um face color now for the face color i'm just going to pick a color on the face here yeah this looks okay and yeah i'm going to select color okay i think that was on the wrong yeah face color so i'm just going to select face color and go to color so this is good but it feels like it's not it's not hitting for me it's not giving me what i want hmm i would prefer no i've still not gotten the best color for this yeah i think let's try this yeah mm. let's see this okay i think this looks a little bit better even if it's not giving me what i want now the next thing you want to do is for the beard now picking a color from from the main picture like this and painting over the beard will not make the beard look very good at all i'm going to make this color and paint over this with you see I, I really do not feel this very much okay i can make the opacity say 60 by pressing 6 on my keyboard reduce this a bit and yeah something like this okay this doesn't look bad because it is a little bit on the brownish side and less saturated a bit so yeah i think this is okay so you can just keep comparing with the main picture and painting right over it and yeah this is supposed to not to be very very good but then you should notice that when you come to this part of the face don't do something like this when something like this is going to ruin everything you are doing what you should do is when you get to this part of the face use the make the opacity say okay with the eraser with the brush make the opacity say 40 40 even to okay 40 or 30 and then just paint right over it it's going to make it look faint and not very harsh you know and it makes you to make it look real at the end 
now you can paint right over this at the edges here so it gives you this fading feel i've ever gone to a barbing shop and you see tell, you, tell the barber you want to just fade your hair so it doesn't barb it all that low but he still gives you this feel that okay there is hair here but it's not so i don't know if that makes any sense but yeah that's what i mean uh, you can just add this make the main part of the beard in here make it like thoroughly dark make it thoroughly dark and yeah this will have this is good you can just keep doing that and that you know sometimes making my videos i do not um i do not like getting to rush i just like when you see my whole flow and my whole process it's going to help you i remember once i used to obsess over this guy there was this job he used to do it was so beautiful it was so nice then i wished he could just do a tutorial even if you just want i wish he could just show us his workflow his process i wish he could just do something but he never did any something i was just there wishing and wishing and wishing but it never really happened then another thing you can do is for the eyebrow make it a little bit saturated a little bit like this and then just add for the eyebrow yeah like this like so yeah 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 like this and for the hair the side of the hair here yeah. like this too and this is not good this is not the best edit that i've done in my life but it's not bad at all it's not bad for a start now this is what we'll have so before and now so you can just um keep adding colors on those part of the face that you know has this so you can just keep adding there's some parts here that are brown and they're not supposed to be just keep adding to all these parts like this yeah like this this you see all these things just keep adding keep adding keep removing and i'm going to have something beautiful now one of the tips i need to add right before we start make calling this a wrap is okay for the eyes for the eyeballs you can i'm just going to select the eyeball here i'm going to make a color blue here choose this kind of color alternate and backspace to add the color i'll go to attribute i'll go to color so this looks okay but doesn't look totally okay so i'm just going to fade it a bit something like this to make it look a little more real and yeah now one of the things you usually do with a beard guy is the shirt now i'm going to put a color for the shirt even if i've not gotten to small it, i can get to do that later I'm, i'll choose the color for the shirt and press other end and backspace and go to attributes color now this is what i have for the shirt it looks uh i think it looks a little bit more saturated than how i want it to be okay this looks better now you notice that the shirt and the beard have a funny demarcation here and that is because of the way we cut out the beard now one of the things you can do to make it not show is to pick a to pick a normal color right above all of them i mean don't clip on it just pick this color on the shirt here and paint right above this like this like this just paint it to almost blow out the edges like this then select select color now this will have now if i take it out you see the lines now this will have before and now so for the ear I'll, I'll pick the eraser tool to erase it a little bit so it doesn't get to show this i can pick the brush tool to the brush tool to to just blend it so i'm picking the shirt color and then the brush color you know to make the whole thing blending and yeah this is what we we'll have it's beautiful a whole lot beautiful and this is what we we'll have for this place i'm still going to select the brush tool for example and just do justice to this by by adding the corresponding color it takes out that line that comes with it yeah then for the shirt remember we took out the seat belt one of the things i can't do is to duplicate with ctrl j of course i'll make sure i always get to save and then with the smudge brush the smudge brush is going to be my video description 
I'm good like that. I'm good like that. I always put in my video description. And yeah, I will just get to smudge this out a bit. Therefore, all this part that doesn't have a very nice fold, I'll just get to smudge it and make sure the, the fold on the shirt just lingers to make it look a little more natural and not look like it, it there was a seat belt a seat belt there before and yeah yeah you know sometimes i get to record these videos and i don't know how long it is i'm done and i press record and i press stop and then i realize that oh god this has taken a long time is anybody going to watch this video this is a long a long video but well, you guys get to watch it thank you so much for the support so far it has been like the best thing ever so if you want um, an extra hand yeah you can get to subscribe for my membership if you think you are okay then that's fine uh, but if you think you need more background if you think you need more of those things oh i'm your guy i'm here to help you if you've enjoyed from this channel and you feel like oh this is one of the ways to give back you can definitely subscribe for my to my membership it's very cheap and uh, it's for just a month a month you have packages for a month for two months for however it is yeah just keep smudging the shirt to have something beautiful done like i would always say and yeah and if you think you want to see my face a whole lot more and often please make sure you hit the subscribe button and please try to check out my other channel i'm just advertising myself they say if you don't advertise yourself nobody can advertise yourself for you yeah there are a whole lot of non nigerians on this channel so i try as much as possible to keep it both official and not just nigerianish if that makes any sense then for the cap lastly for the cap i'm just going to clip this and just smudge it out yeah i think that's supposed to make sense so one of the things you can do is to duplicate with ctrl d and then you know i took out those shine so for the cap here for example make this part dark a bit make it dark a bit remember i usually used to add um some colors to make it to make the whole thing pop up you add colors on the lip i'm just trying to round up this video now just to show you how to add beard and make the whole beard blend into the shirt and that is what i did for this video so the other video another one is going to come up on how to probably properly add highlights midtones and shadows and those other things to the face if you've enjoyed this video so far please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next and the next and the next i want you to see how this is going to look on my instagram page when i get to post it so follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys all right bye